We've all enjoyed a return to shopping more locally, discovering neighbourhood shops and local suppliers. The Anya Hindmarch Village is a celebration of this, a community of shops in the heart of London's Chelsea. We start with the Return to Nature store, with its magical fairy tale facade, moss and plants growing into the stone. It's a rich pattern of textures and it feels like it's been here forever. Inside, the store showcases the very first fully biodegradable bags. Displayed around a central glass greenhouse, it's an installation with the bags immersed deep within the green foliage. The bags are created using a pioneering tanning and finishing method, and the leather is really super soft. It feels like silk and it smells absolutely divine. There is no ironmongery, just simple stitching. And really, these are investment pieces that will last forever. They are at the heart of the brand's philosophy and, best of all, they will never go to landfill. Next door, we have the colourful storage shop full of flexible, versatile bags and luggage and a while-you-wait bespoke labelling service. Anya's village has a real sense of community, a return to the high street with its nostalgic format of five small, crafted and very personalised stores. We think this is a lovely way to shop, focusing the product within individual settings. A very intimate shopping experience, together with fantastic customer service from a team who are passionate and excited about their brand. The bespoke store feels like a Victorian shop, with its old, warm timber panelling and vintage display cases. It has a wonderful workshop where you can have your own handwritten message embossed or hand-stitched onto your bag by its residence craftsman. This community of shops evolve and change with new product launches and installations happening every few months, each thoroughly executed with an abundance of amazing visual merchandising and theatre. There's a real sense of fun. Each facade has its own personality and each store you step into is its own unique world. We're really looking forward to seeing what next year's stores will be at Anya's and we'll watch with interest how this sense of community will influence other retailers. As we navigate a period of uncertainty around the future of retail with big brands disappearing, we question what is needed for retail to survive in the physical. And of course, the answer is an engaging, multifaceted, sensorial experience with moments that can't be replicated online. Brands that are slow to react, that stand still, or are reluctant to meet consumer needs will simply not survive. As designers, we look to weave a strong and unique story and a sense of place into our design concepts, providing our clients with retail environments that encourage discovery, understanding, and connection. With new and exciting products, new innovation, and events that surprise, wrapped up in an environment that is adaptable, responsive and sustainable.